all of this is happening on purpose for a purpose. You may not understand the purpose behind it, but when you understand that it's happening for a reason, you can lean into that difficulty and realize something greater is going to be accomplished through it. Is it fair to say, like, what would you need faith for if nothing bad ever ha- didn't happen? I mean, I think that's the I think that's the model of faith for most people in the world today. I call it transactional faith. Yeah. Everything's good. I don't need God. Right. I got a cancer diagnosis. What I believe, though, is that there are a lot of people out there who are active in some type of faith, but have no fitness, man. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, hey, if the Bible says that your body's a temple, which I'm pretty sure that it does, and it says honor God with your body. Well, that's not just a spiritual component. That's also a physical component. And so that's what you're I hear you doing in your practice. It's like, hey, man, let's bring this in as well and help you. Not only just, you know, have a better physiology and a better body, but it increases your self-confidence, your self-esteem. You just you carry yourself differently. Mm-hmm.